This is GAP4, a Lancor web app developed for the accounting operations of the Nigerian government foreign mission. Using Alpha 5 v10 with MS SQL as database, we were able to complete this application in 90 days. I will log in as an administrator to give overview of the layout and structure of the web app. The administrator module. The, administra the application administrator is responsible for adding and editing such items as vendor records, staff records, and other basic information. The administrator also sets up monthly default settings uh, for field values with predetermined are uh, constant and needed in completing most forms in the application. These default settings also include the rate and the mo transaction months that are available. The vote book management. This is the decision point information center for the officer. Information about account balances, available budget, expenditure, and year-to-date year summary are available on this page. This is a sample of the vote book statement indicating allocations, which is the budget, and payments, which is the expenditure and balances. The balance is what is available to be spent. Uh, debt toll number is a critical component to creating any transaction in the application. This is where the, uh, the debt toll numbers are registered. Expenditure transactions. Expenditure transaction uh, is where all the invoices, payment voucher, and payments are made for expenditure. Invoice creation can be done from three different locations. One of it is uh, through this button. You can add the invoice, or you can add the invoice during the uh, payment voucher creation also. Uh, a payment voucher can only be created when you have an invoice and you have a debt or number that was legally registered. Payments are made against invoices, but the invoice must have a payment voucher assigned to it before it can be made available in this table for payment. Treasury transactions. Now the mission generically receives funding from the headquarters uh, on a quarterly or semi-annual basis, and they, and they also generate some revenue from their own internal operations. Uh, this is the module where all those uh, items are recorded. The collector's receipt is like the receipt that goes out to the customer, and the treasury receipt is what is used to collect all the collect all the collector's receipts on a monthly or weekly basis and generates a deposit slip. Payroll functions are almost as e in, in equal length as the expenditure transactions, but like every payroll, there are differences and spe uh, specific uh, processes that need to be accounted for. We created a separate page and module for the payroll, and the payment is done in a group format. Transactions Manager. Uh, this module allows the accountant to do the monthly closing without going into different modules to get information. All information needed for all the transactions are available to the transactions manager uh, from this module. Uh, one of the important things we put here is the ability to upload uh, electronically bank statements. You can select the bank and select the operations account which is an internal account and the bank statement date and click upload and that pops up a file to be up, uh, linked to the bank state electronic bank statement. We have pre we have in the application we have formatted all standard reports that are required by the missions headquarters and the accountant general of the federation uh, to make it easy uh, after closing the books to be able to generate these reports. 
Most reports require four entries, the bank code, the year, the month, and the currency. You can report in either dollar or the Naira currency as in this, in this uh, instance. The dashboard is a module for the senior officers of the mission to see the, a top level summary of transactions. The vote book summary mirrors the vote book uh, management module, but the reports are more top level. And you can see the transaction that says allocations. Now the salaries have been grouped up and it shows what payments have been made and the balances. This also gives the year to date of uh, vendors and staff payments. The archives module, what we did here is separate out transactions from prior years from transactions of the current year. All, all transactions pertaining to prior years are, you can retrieve from the archives. And that is the outline uh, overview of the application. Thank you.